Our first day in the Pitan City explores from seeing few out of 40 heritage houses, hiking the 200 steps Ilihan Hill, a quick tour at the Jose Rizal Memorial Protected Landscape, to sunset viewing at Rizal's Punto de Desembarco. Welcome to Sunrise Boulevard! We started the day with a cup of coffee at the newly developed area of the Pitan, the Sunrise Boulevard. So, nagiging access road na din siya ng the Pitan, so iikot siya, pagkanta din sa Rizal Park. While the road is still under construction, the place has currently been utilized by the Pitanans as a recreational area like biking. Then, we went on a quick hike. Welcome to Ilihan Hill. <laughs> Ilihan Hill, guys. Ilihan Hill is an easy access to those who want to pump up their morning exercise. This is my first time here, pero sabi kasi nila, five minutes lang daw. <laughs> Tignan natin. Ilang beses na ako na-scam sa five minutes lang yung hike. Hello! Ayoko no! Tagal ko na din naka-hike. Pagod na ako. <laughs> Agad! After walking for roughly about 10 minutes, Ay, ko naligaw na kami. We finally reached the top. And there, the beautiful panoramic city view of the Pitan welcomed us. Next location is St. James Church and ipapakita ko po yung relief map of Mindanao na nasa harap lang ng St. James Church. It's one of the tourist spots in the Pitan City. So we are here at St. James Church of the Pitan. Yun yan, St. James Church! And then, kung saan tayo ngayon is the relief map of Mindanao. Si Rizal yung gumawa ng map na to. The relief map of Mindanao is a 900 square meter area that was purposely created by Rizal as a motivating device for teaching history and geography to the townsfolk of the Pitan. So, papasok na kami sa church! Just across the relief map is St. James Church that has been a haven of religious activities in the Pitan, which until now has maintained its breathtaking architecture that has withstood the test of time. Good morning! Dito tayo mag-breakfast sa Inato Lang Resto sa Dampa na Pitan City. Super ganda kasi makikita mo yung river. It's amazing! What a great morning to have our breakfast meal nearby the river. Now that we're full from a sumptuous meal at Inato Lang, we then visited few of the remaining old houses of the Pitan City like Tombok, Pahe, Amoy, and another prominent old house in downtown that was built in 1900 is the Niano Adasa Heritage House which now houses the Dapitan City Tourism Office. It's super ancient and love it. I love the personality and character of this 
house. We also dropped by at the Dapitan City Hall to see their local products and their famous delicacy, cassava chips. It's super amazing because they started this last 2014 to give growers and processors a livelihood para maka business opportunities yung mga local ng Dapitan. Ngayon, isa na sila sa mga leading manufacturer ng cassava chips. Meron silang ng flavors, the barbecue, cheese, hot and spicy, original flavor, and sour cream. Well, of course, we had to taste it. Barbecue! Oh, so this one is cheese. Let's try it. Let's try the sour cream. check in um pupunta na kami sa Rizal Park to tour the park after we checked in we traveled for 20 minutes from our host accommodation in Villa Angelina luxury suites and arrived at the historic Rizal Shrine Park This protected landscape is Dr. Jose Rizal's home for four years in Talisay, Dapitan City when he was exiled in July 7, 1892. Here, you'll see the Museo ni Rizal, Casa Redonda, Casita Salud that were converted into wards to accommodate his patients, the pupils' dormitory, Casa Cuadrada, Rizal's family kitchen, and Casa Residencia, which served as Rizal's residence with his family. Still in Rizal's park, the shaped rock was known as Patong Lumayag, but is officially called Mi Retiro Rock, for it was here where Rizal wrote his longest poem, Mi Retiro. We ended the first day of our Dapitan adventure at Rizal's Punto de Desembarco during the golden hour at one of the most beautiful sunset in the province of Zamboanga del Norte. <laughs>